Hello there. We're gonna take a look at FBX support that was released with 3.2 beta version of Buildbox. Let's create a 3D game and let's jump into our 3D world. This is how our new 3D world scene looks now. Let's move the cube back a little bit. And for our FBX test, we're gonna use Kenny's free assets, the animated character 2 package. Let's go into our folder and here is what's inside the folder of that package and let's go to models and there's the character medium. In Buildbox documentation on FBX import, they want the model, the skeleton and the animations to be in one file, but we're gonna just use what comes in this package and the FBX file has the model and the skeleton in it. It doesn't have any animations in it. We'll import those separately. When we import our character, we, we can see that the scale of character is huge. Let's click play and see how it looks in the preview. And in the preview, you can see that he's actually a size of a cube. And he's facing down for some reason. But this is not gonna stop us. We are gonna go inside the character right now. And what we'll do is rotate around the x-axis negative 90 degrees. And if we play now, we can see that our character is standing up. Nice, 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 nice. Now let's add a texture to our model. And we can do that by going into the scene and clicking the edit. And here we can expand this character medium window. And we have the option of getting the texture. So let's go into our folder and in this package we have skins available. There's four skins and let's use this skin right here. Drag and drop it. And click save. Let's preview it. And there, our character has the skin. Now let's get some animations. Let's go to our package and under animation folder we have three animation, idle, jump and run. Let's import idle. And we can see that it created a new sub scene. Sub scene is a new node that is available and the character model is the sub scene. And then we have a keyframe animation, which is the second new node. And that's the one that plays the animation. We don't need another sub scene, so we can remove that. And we'll connect this purple connection to animation and this connection is the new type of connection that we have in a Buildbox 3.2, which is requested connection. And let's take a look in the script. It runs the new function, requested. Click play and see our idle. And you can see that the idle animation just played once and it stopped. We can select the idle and set it to looped so that the animation will actually loop. And now our idle animation is looping and our character is being animated. Now let's add the run and the jump animations. And we can remove the extra sub scenes that we have. And now let's switch from idle animation to run animation and click play. And let's also turn on looped. And here's our run animation. Now let's add a button so we can switch between the two animations and we'll just add a keyboard button, use W. So let's disconnect play from the run animation. And now let's also connect the idle animation to our animation input. And how we control which animation will be played is whichever one has the play on if we want to stop some animation, we need to trigger stop. With our input, what we're gonna do is when W is pressed, we will stop the idle animation and we will start or play the, our run animation. And when the button is released, we will stop our run animation and at the same time, we will play our idle animation. Uh, let's click play. So when start, we can see we are in idle and when we click W, 
we get our running animation and when we release W we get our idle path. Now let's get our character to move and we'll use a move node for that and we'll use a rotate to rotate our character and we'll need two more buttons for rotation so two more keyboard buttons and we'll use D and A let's connect our move node to pressed W key we'll do movement Z of 10 and turn on follow rotation and then we will create rotation for D key we're gonna rotate negative 200 degrees and for for A will rotate 200 degrees let's click play and now we have our character running around with animation and we can stop and turn our character and he's in idle position now let's turn on some physics for our character to have some interaction with the cube so let's go inside here and in our start node let's enable physics to kinematic and as you can see that our scaling is just all over the place so we'll reset it back to one one and one and the uh, position we'll set it to zero zero and I think we want to have one here let's click play and let's go to debug to see our collision shape and there is our collision shape and now you can see that we can run and collide let's try that again now let's try doing a jump animation for that we'll use the jump node jump node and the jump node requires us to have a dynamic physics so we'll switch our character to dynamic physics and we will add another button keyboard button and let's use a space for jumping unpressed we want to jump and we'll start our jump animation which is just a pose in our case and we want to stop our other animations and let's add a if collide node and we'll need a signal filter and on jump pressed we want to filter our signal only to pass true and on collide we want to trigger stop for a jump and we want to default to play the idle animation also let's do a signal invert and we'll use this signal invert to turn off our if collide so that when we're running any collisions we won't change anything with our animations let's click play and see if that works so here we have our jump and he just flew away and our dynamic move is just super right now Whoa! so let's switch our jump to 10 I think we're missing a delay here let's see if that works okay so and we need to shift our if 
collider by one also. Okay, there we go. So I liked how our move and rotate worked before we enabled dynamics. Let's trick the code to think that we don't have dynamic physics. And we can do that by setting physics to null. And we'll just leave the dynamic rotation. So there's more work that needs to be done to get it to work smoothly. We'll stop improving our character right now. And we'll go inside here and let's create a test scene. Let's get some cubes going on here. We'll switch the orientation to landscape and click OK. And we will set camera to follow our character. And we'll rotate our camera around the Y axis so that the camera will look in the back of our character. Let's move it back right here. And let's click play and see what we have. And here's our character in third person view. And we can run around into these squares. And this is our first demo of using FBX in BuildBox. We'll make a more in-depth tutorial soon, and we'll probably make a new node to manage the animations. So subscribe to our channel, click on the like button if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.